Welcome back! Well, Vohol is trapped in the beam of light, and we have the uh, floppy disk with our son's original memories. And apparently our son is called Roger Jr. Real inventive there, Roger. Well, let's see if we can put those memories back into the body where they belong. And do it before time runs out. Now, I don't think you can actually die here or do anything... Unless you do anything colossally stupid. Now, what you actually need to do is disk upload. Beam upload. And finally, beam download to return Roger to his body. Or Roger Jr. to his body. I don't think pressing the buttons in the wrong order will really uh, cause you to die. Unless you, I think only if you do beam upload and then immediately beam download again. That's a problem. But otherwise, as long as you do the right sequence of uh, events inside the time limit, you will be fine. <laughs> Follow me. There are many things we need to talk about. There's an understatement. You must be very confused. Were Volhall's words true? Are you really my son? You do look a little like me, though not as good-looking. What do you mean, not as good-looking? I'm ten times... Wait. What am I saying? This is no way to start. Yes. What Vohal said is true. I have many things to tell you, Dad. I should start at the beginning. I was born 19 years ago on Xenon. It's always been my home. The Xenon of today, at least up until recently, had made great strides in managing our planet's resources. That included water, minerals, even the talent of our population. We enjoyed peace for so many years, we took it for granted. The creation of the first super biomech computer was the biggest success story in our history. When the Vohal virus was introduced and began to control the computer, a state of total chaos was created. We were unprepared for what followed as Vohal turned our technology against us. The population was quickly decimated. Some of us stayed and tried to fight, some were captured, and some fled the planet. When it seemed there was no hope, we thought of one last long shot effort. That was to find the only person in history ever to defeat Bohal. We had to go back in time to find that person, you. We got there just in time. You had to go back in time to get me? Why wasn't I available in this time? What happened to me? I don't understand. I'm sorry. There are some things I, I wish I could tell you, but can't. I know that's not what you want to hear. Believe me, I just can't. Hey, if you're my son, who's your mother? My wife? Where is she? Who is she? You sure ask a lot of questions for a janitor. This is my mother and your wife. Her name was Beatrice, Beatrice Wankmeister. Nice name. She was quite beautiful, wasn't she? What do you mean, was quite beautiful? What are you saying? I'm so sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Please, I can't tell you anymore. I don't believe all this. I'm so confused. It doesn't matter now. I have to send you back where I found you so that history will properly reflect the events which brought us to this place in time. You won't remember much. This will seem like it was a weird, fuzzy dream. I must get back to the task of contacting all the surviving citizens of our planet. We have a huge task ahead of us. Rebuilding our city and our lives will not be easy, but we will do it. Once more, I have to ask you to enter the time rip. It will return you to Magmetheus in the Space Quest 4 era. Please, go now. It's time. Dad? 
I'm glad I got to see you, even if only for a few minutes. Xenon knows you a lot. Goodbye, Dad. And there we go! Back to... Space Quest 4! Xenon is safe once again! So many unanswered questions. The future should prove most interesting for Roger, if he can stay out of trouble long enough to reach it. We're glad you could help Roger get through it all. Thank you for playing Space Quest 4. And thank you for narrating it, Gary Owens. Well, let's see how we did on uh, points, so I guess I can't do that now. I will be able to do it in a bit, I think. Anyway, well, Space Quest 4 is uh, a favorite of many people, uh, and Mark Crow has actually said he considers it to be his masterpiece. That's not hard to see why so many people like it. The jump to VGA really allowed Space Quest to come into its own. I mean, this was the first real Space Quest game to be in VGA rather than just a remake. And it allows it to have all uh, it just allows all of the wacky situations and, and humor to come off a lot better than it did in the EGA games. The story of the game is uh, pretty clever, although it's not the most clever time travel plot ever to be used in a computer game, because well, that honor belongs to Day of the Tentacle. But the game is simply fun, even despite some of the annoying bits, like having to evade those droids and secret police and the instant death encounters at uh, Xenon in the beginning. Um, but still, it is uh, one of the best Space Quest games. And the voice version also adds quite uh, a lot. Although, like I said before, not all of the voice acting is equally good. But at least Gary Owens as the narrator is worth it. Unfortunately, Space Quest V does not have a voice version, although 6 does. Can we look at our points now? Yes, we can. Unfortunately, we have only 294 points. We missed 6 points because I didn't do the arcade sequence. And for some reason, I actually went back to my old save games to check where, I, where this happened. For some reason, I didn't get the points for setting up the lasers correctly. I don't know why that happened, but that's the other points we're missing. Oh well, you can't always end at the maximum. I suppose. Well, that's it for Space Quest 4. But Roger's adventures aren't quite over yet. And he will return in Space Quest 5, the next mutation. <laughs>